Is pycnogenol good for brain function? Oh, absolutely. Is it? Really? Yeah, in, in what way? Well, here, there's many ways we, we think about brain function, okay. but, but I think what's really interesting about pycnogenol is that you have to realize our brains need blood, right? That's the only way our brain functions, is getting blood, and that's the only way it's going to get oxygen. Okay. And so what pycnogenol does is keep these big blood vessels that are mm -hmm. in, in our carotid arteries, All right. keeps, helps keep them open. Okay. And when you keep them, so it does it in two ways. So it helps keep the big blood vessels open mm -hmm. so that the blood is flowing into our brain. And we get oxygen that and we, way. And we get oxygen that way. And it also keeps the small blood vessels open. And the mm. small blood, blood vessels are the ones that are inside, you know, the little capillaries that are inside our brain that are taking the blood that comes from the carotid arteries and brings it out into all the different parts of our brain. So you're getting capillary you're getting, you know, you're getting protection in the capillary levels, mm -hmm. and you're getting protection in the big, giant blood vessel levels. Okay. And the reason why that's so important is because it can help, um, it can help support a healthy memory. Um, it can help support um, against things like just that cognitive decline, you know, that sort of... Where did I put my car keys? Um, Absolutely. Wh wh why am Just, I standing here in front of the refrigerator? Why can't I recall who, like, what? Well, I know you, but what's yeah. your name? Where do I know you from? <laughs> right. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. This, that's just that stuff that we go through. And the reason why that happens is because we get, um, we get what we call little white matter changes, which means those capillaries die. Mm -hmm. okay. When the capillaries die, they cause, they, there's no, they no longer bring oxygen to that part of the brain, and right. they kill off that part of the brain. Luckily, we only use such a little, not luckily, but we only use such a small portion of our brain that, <laughs> you know, it takes no, a, Not so luckily, maybe. But it takes a lot mm -hmm. for that to start accumulating, yes. and then it starts accumulating. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we get into trouble. So that's where pycnogenol helps. Pycnogenol will help on the capillary level, keeping the capillaries open mm -hmm. inside the brain, okay. and then it works on the big blood vessels to keep the blood flowing to the brain so that it brings the oxygen there. So it slows down cognitive decline. It keeps your memory going. It keeps you feeling vibrant. I mean, it mm -hmm. keeps you feeling alive. It keeps you feeling mentally alert. You know, all of these things that we want to do, I mean, it's not, that's all, that's all attributable to the brain. I mean, we could talk about, you know, we could talk about Alzheimer's and mm -hmm. all of those other things, but uh, when you look at, you know, take the brain Just from basic. strictly basic stuff, mm -hmm. pycnogenol works on the basic, works on the basic level. You know, there's, you've got to get the, the circulation to the brain. You've got to get mm -hmm. the blood to there. And how pycnogenol does that is by keeping the collagen and elastin work, working right. and functioning. So it helps keep the patency of the blood vessels open. Mm -hmm. And then it also supports microcirculation, which are those capillaries that I keep talking about. So it works this wonderful natural substance from a pine tree bark works mm. in so many different ways but they're very fundamental basic ways mm -hmm. for our bodies to remain healthy and that's that's for me as a clinician is terrific that to be able to have something like that to offer to people as opposed to some sort of pharmaceutical um... or a pharmaceutical or some of the other nutritional supplements that are out there that have not been so extensively studied okay. sort of like ginkgo people talk about ginkgo yes. for brain health all forever. the time yes. mm -hmm. and that's one of those that are just assumed mm -hmm. you know because it's been used forever yes and there's not a lot of clinical uh, data to support that there is with pycnogenol so i'm happy to recommend pycnogenol i mean i recommend ginkgo as well and mm -hmm. vitamin e and you know, there's so many different brain nutrients, phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of acetyl L carnitine, um, lion's mane. I mean, we can go on and on and on about how many different things there are for uh, brain health. But this sounds very fundamental, though. With correct, correct. Pycnogenol is the fundamental. Got to get the blood flow to the brain, and you've got to get you've got to get the blood to there so mm -hmm. that you get oxygen, and then the capillaries transport the oxygen to all parts of the brain. So it works at the most basic fundamental aspect of keeping our brains healthy. So then we don't have that fuzzy, dizzy thinking, that, that foggy. That brain fog. Yes. I mean, it's so important that we don't have that. It's really it's, nice. And it's oxygen, blood circulation and oxygen to the brain. That's, that's what it's all about. I mean, if you have healthy circulation, mm -hmm. there's very few things that can go wrong with you. And pycnogenol helps with that immensely. Pycnogenol is one of the few nutritional supplements that I recommend across the board mm -hmm. for anybody who has 
either has a circulation problem or wants to keep one, prevent one from ever happening to them. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Thank you.